Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Fragrance. Today's video is going to be my full collection of fragrances. Everybody's asking for this video. It's going to be a long video, so I hope everybody enjoys this video. Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Fragrance. Today's video is going to be my full collection of fragrances that have been talked about and asked about on my channel for a while. So I'm going to give you all the fragrances I have in my collection. All bottles, no samples, nothing like that. All bottles that I have or I receive free from companies or from subscribers on my channel. Before we start the video, ladies and gentlemen, please leave a comment down below what fragrance you're going to wear on Christmas. Please let me know. I'd like to know what you guys are wearing. Um, in this video, I will tell you the scent I'm going to wear on Christmas. Um, when this video airs, it will be Christmas. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video on Christmas or the day after, whatever. I would like to hope everybody has a nice Christmas, um, holiday, and a happy new year if I don't speak to you guys before then. Um, I'd like to thank my family and friends for supporting me um, through this tough year. It's been good and bad, but it's been an okay year. And I'm very happy I'm still here and I'm alive. Um, I'd like to thank my girlfriend. Um, family just been there for support throughout everything for the good and the bad and um yeah thank you all my subscribers you guys mean the world to me and i appreciate everyone you guys for the comments sometimes they're good or bad over the top but you guys are here and i appreciate that so just want to acknowledge you guys as subscribers if you're new to my channel please consider hit the subscribe button on the screen anytime during this video to show your support that's it okay let's get into the list i have two niche fragrances and the rest are all designers so let's get right into it. The first one here I got is a free gear from A2. He said, hey, check it out. I want to see if you like niche fragrances and it's no other than Creed Vetiver Geranium. This fragrance here, it's a really nice fragrance. Um, I wouldn't think I even like Creed fragrance. It's really nice. The Vetiver, it's really nice. Kind of limiting on my skin. I really enjoy this fragrance. I'm happy I have it in my collection and open my eyes to realizing that there are other Creed fragrances that are really nice out there. A lot of people just talk about Creed Adventures, but there are other fragrances in the lineup that are really nice. So, Creed, Geranium, Vetiver. Okay. Next one on our list here is fragrance I bought at a performance of the Marley event. Pretty cool. I met a lot of YouTubers there, and it is Pegasus by performance of the Marley. This one's great. I enjoy it a lot. The vanilla, the almond. This is a great wintertime fall type of fragrance. You really can't grow on this one. I enjoy it a lot and it's good for this type of year and it, it gives me a lot of compliments. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Performance of Marley, Pegasus. Okay. We keep going. This set I'm going to wear on Christmas as of today. This video is being recorded. Is a fragrance that I talked about. It's a nice fall and winter fragrance. Valentina Umo Intense. I'm wearing this on Christmas Day. It's nice. The iris note in here, the tonka, the vanilla. I enjoy this one a lot and I will wear this on Christmas Day. So, Valentino Mo Intense. Okay, keep going. Next one on the list. Tom Ford, Solo Blanca. This one's really nice. Really great fragrance. I wish the performance was better, but it's not. To me, on my skin, it just smells like very nice. Picture me at the beach, suntan lotion smell. It's really nice. It's pleasant. I enjoy it. I like the bottle presentation, really nice. I just wish it lasts longer on my skin, but it doesn't. So, Tom Ford, Solo Blanca. Okay, keep going. Got another Tom Ford fragrance here. Tom Ford, Great Vetiver, EDT. You can get the EDT, EDP. They're all great fragrances. And I like this one a lot. The Vetiver is fresh, it's clean. If you want to just have a fresh and clean fragrance to wear all year round, you can wear it dressed up, dressed down. I like this one. I wear it dressed up or dressed down. I wear it to work. People do like it. I've got a few comments wearing this. Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. EDT. Okay. Next one on the list we have here is a fragrance that um, I feel like you wear this with a suit and tie, but you can wear it casual too. It's just very expensive, so I try to wear it with a suit and tie or something very important business meeting or for a job interview, I'll wear this. This would be Terre de Mes, EDT. This bottle's pretty cool. Distribution's pretty good. It shoots out a lot. Really nice fragrance. Definitely check this one out. Terre de Mes, EDT, and they have the EDP too. Okay. Keep going on the list. 
We have a fragrance that I talked about a lot on my channel. Gowns Compliments. I feel like it's a really great fragrance. People do say it's generic, whatever you want to call it, but Aqua Geo Absolute. This one's amazing. I like it. It got me a lot of comments when I wear it. And people on my channel, subscribers, have bought this fragrance and they enjoy it. So I'm very happy with that. That a fragrance that I like, people try it and they do get comments just like I do. So it's not just me. So Aqua Geo Absolute. Okay, keep going. We have another Aqua de Geo, and this is Aqua de Geo Perfumo. This is a fragrance that is versatile, dressed up, dressed down. Every YouTuber talks about it, even I talk about it, because it does its job. It's versatile, you wear it dressed up, dressed down. Nobody's going to be offended by this fragrance. They're either going to really like it, like it, or it's okay. Nobody's going to say this is nasty or it's horrible or any negative. So, Giorgio Armani, Aqua de Geo Perfumo. Okay. Next on the list we have here is another fresh and clean fragrance. It's an oldie but goodie, and my bottle's empty here, but I do have the bottle, so Blue Day Chanel EDT, the original EDT. Fresh and clean fragrance, like the magnetic cap. Can't go wrong with this one here. Keep going to the list. We have Blue Day Chanel Eau de Parfum. This one's really nice, fresh, clean. Shower, fresh out the shower vibe. My brother Matthew has this fragrance here. I talked to him about this fragrance and we went to Norse and we bought a real big bottle of it. He bought the 3.4 100ml bottle. I got the small one because I have a lot of fragrances, but definitely check this fragrance out if you don't, if you haven't heard about Blue Day Chanel, but you probably already have, but if you have any new to the game, if you want a fresh and clean fragrance, it's really nice. Women do like it. Only thing about this one, the performance is average. It's not, not beast mode. It's okay. It'll get you through about five to six hours. Projection you're going to get about with two hours. It's nice, but after the six hour mark, I can barely smell it. So, Blue Day Chanel, Auto Perfume. Okay, keep going on the list. We have Blue Day Chanel Perfume, the new 2018 release. I like this one. Uh, very nice, very fresh, very clean. My girlfriend likes this one on me a lot. This lasts on my skin well over 12 hours. I'm very happy with it. I can still smell it on my skin. It's nice. When I'm around people, they do they do smell the fragrance and I get comments, they enjoy it. Even when I walk by people with a little scent cloud, it's just, it's really nice. See eyes when I walk by people. Um, I really enjoy this fragrance. Some people say it doesn't last on their skin. Everybody's different, but Blue Day Chanel Perfume, definitely check this out. If you want a fresh and clean type of fragrance, it's really nice. And it has a magnetic cap. Okay. Keep going down the list of the Chanel fragrance I have here. This is Alone Sport O Extreme. It's been talked about a lot of channels. Um, people, another subscriber asked me, did they re reformulation? No, it's not. This works fine. Definitely pick up the new bottle of it. You're good to go. I got about six hours of longevity. Got about two hours of projection. Very nice. Every time I wear this fragrance, I get either one or two comments with it. I've got comments down the road and other videos where I went to Best Buy and two ladies like the fragrance. So, Alone Sport. Oh, extreme it does work definitely check it out if you don't have this fragrance already in your collection it's really nice and people just like it and i'm very happy it works so i didn't think it would work when the first time i bought it but then after i started wearing it more i started getting more comments people asking about it so a little sport oh extreme definitely check this out if you, if you like chanel fragrances okay keep going we have now we're going to start with dior fragrances and this is dior sauvage Auto Perfume. Definitely a great pickup for 2018. If you already have the Orsavage EDT, you might not want this one. It might feel redundant to you, but you can wear this at night and wear the EDT during the day. They're really nice. My girlfriend likes both of them. I'm very happy she enjoys both of them. When I first started talking and we met, I had the EDT on, which is really nice, and I still wear it to this day, and it means a very something special moment for me and her both because we both like the fragrance, and that's when I first started talking to her and started dating her, so I'm very happy with that. So if you do like Dior Sauvage or haven't tried it out yet, please get your nose on the EDP like this or the EDT. Definitely try them both out, okay? And it has a cool magnetic cap, too. So, distribution is really nice, shoots out a lot, so. Okay. Keep going down the list here. We have the original Dior Sauvage EDT right here. 
and I just talked about it already with my girlfriend. It's a really nice fragrance. You can wear it signature worthy all year round, 12 months out the whole year, 365 days a year. People will say it's generic or it's uh, like a body soap or an axe or whatever. It's a fresh and clean fragrance. Women do like it. I know people are going to give a lot of hate, but it works. And we can't. nobody's going to be like, oh, you stink or you're horrible. So if you just want a simple fragrance to get through your day, and you can pick this up for about 60-something bucks on the cheaper websites online like uh, FragranceNet.com, stuff like that. Check out MaxRoma.com. So if you if you don't want to go the retail route, retail route is looking at about $77. So your Sauvage EDC. Magnetic cap. Distribution shoots out a lot. Your Sauvage EDT. Okay. Now we're going into the performance of Mar Parfum Vintage Fragrances. Apologize about that. We have here Marina Fields, Marina Fields, Parfum Vintage. Um, this company was nice enough to send me a couple bottles of fragrances. I test them out. I have videos down below if you want to check them all out. This is supposed to be a clone of Creed Green Irish Tweed. I smell them both. They're really nice. Very close enough. I'm happy with the fragrance. I haven't got a compliment yet wearing this fragrance, but I do like this fragrance. Very green. It's very nice on my skin. And I really enjoy this fragrance. Definitely check this fragrance out. If you like green iris tweed and you don't want to spend a type of money, you want to get try to get a clone and see if that works on your skin. Maybe the Creed one's too expensive for you. Maybe you maybe it doesn't work on your skin. Definitely try out Vena Fields by Perform Vintage. It might work on your skin. Okay, we keep going. Next one on my fragrance list here is Parfum Vintage Russian Unicorns. This is supposed to be a clone of Melissa Imperial. Uh, this fragrance is, is really nice. I really thought it was going to smell like crap because of the name Russian Unicorns, but my girlfriend really likes it. First, she liked the name in general because she's a big fan of unicorns and cats, but that's a whole nother story. But Russian Unicorns. A really nice fragrance. I like wearing it and she likes it. I'm very happy with it. I haven't got any comments yet wearing it. I'm going to wear it some more. Hopefully I do. Um, but definitely check this out if you want a Creed clone of Melissa Imperial. Rush Unicorn by Parfum Ventures. Next one on the list. We have Parfum Ventures Sunset in Heaven. This is supposed to be the Baccarou Rouge 540. Clone of it. Definitely check this one out i've smelled that one at the store it smells very very similar to it i like it at the one i like the original one too but the price is very high i feel like if you're on a budget and you want to get a clone of it definitely try out sunset in heaven apart from ventures you will enjoy this fragrance you know i'm not saying it's gonna be 100 percent like it but it's very it's between 90 something percent and it's very smells very similar to it and really nice for the price you know what i mean definitely check out this company I really think you'll like this if you can't afford Baccarat 540. So, Sunset in Heaven by Parfum Vintage. Next on the list, we have Parfum Vintage Evolution de Lome. Sir, I talked about this fragrance. I got three comments in under 90 seconds. When that happens, you kind of feel like, wait a minute, this fragrance is really powerful. You really need to tell somebody about it. You know, as a reviewer, yeah, I do reviews, and if it does get comments, I have to say it does. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it doesn't. Like, if this phrase gets comments, it does it. And these companies aren't paying me. They're sending me the stuff to review and want my honest opinion. And I want you, the subscribers or whoever watched my videos, to learn that this phrase gets comments. Definitely check it out. It, yes, it is a clone of Elysium by Roger Dove. I like that fragrance too, but you're looking almost $300 for a bottle. Retail rise for retail, whether it's at the store or on their website. Sometimes you got that type of money. You can definitely pick this up here. It's about 80 something dollars. It smells very, very similar to it. And I get about two hour, two to three hours of projection. I get way over eight hours of longevity. I'm very happy with it. And the comments, I, it's, it's really crazy to get three comments with one fragrance a day. Some of you get one, you're very happy with that. When you get three, you really realize this fragrance has power in it, a very kick of power. You definitely need to buy this. So maybe get yourself a sample. Don't go buy it if you don't want to. Buy a sample and see if you like it. This is Parfum Vintage, Evolution de Lome, sir. We keep going on the list. Next one on the list is a fragrance that's supposed to be a clone of Creed Aventus. And it's part, it's part from Vintage Pineapple Intense. Definitely check this out. 
if you like Crete Aventus, this is the clone of one of the fragrances. This has a uh, kind of smoky, has a pineapple. And it's Crete Aventus. If you want that type of fragrance, you don't want to spend the type of money for it, definitely check out Part from Vintage Intense. Like the bottle presentation, it shoots out a lot of juice, so it shoots out a lot of distribution. Okay. Keep going on the list. We have fragrances from Dual Fragrances, and this is supposed to be a clone of Tom Ford Lost Cherry, and it is Dual Fragrances Pop Cherry. And I've talked about this on my channel before. If you don't have $320, you can definitely pick this up here for about $60, $65 on the website. If they have any more left, you got to definitely check the website down below at www.dualfragrances.com. Check it out. The bottle presentation is really nice. And I have this and Tom Ford a sample, and I get about eight hours with uh, Tom Ford, and I get about two to three hours of projection. I get about two hours of projection with this. I get about six hours of longevity on my skin. So you can always reapply this for $60. Do you really want to spend $320 or $325 for Tom Ford Lost Cherry? And last eight hours, you got to reapply a $325 fragrance, a 50 ml bottle. If you want to, that's fine. Nothing into the bottle's pre bottle presentation is really nice, but definitely check this one out. Very, very similar to it. This might be a little bit more sweeter, but it's really nice. My girlfriend likes this fragrance too. Definitely check out Pop Cherry by Dual Fragrances. Keep going on the list. This one here is supposed to be a clone of Lisa and Laurent Tuxedo. Lisa and Laurent by Dual, Dual Fragrances Tuxedo. Really nice juice in the presentation. It's really nice with the tuxedo and stuff like that. I've never tried that other one. Lisa and Laurent Tuxedo. It's very hard to find where I live at. I've heard other viewers talk about this fragrance. This fragrance smells amazing. I like it a lot. I've worn it several times and I've gone to comments with this fragrance here. The name is pretty weird, Tuxedo, but it works. And I feel like you can wear it with a tuxedo or wear it regular. I wear it regular without a tuxedo and I get comments. So definitely check this out. Do it. Dual Fragrances Tuxedo. Okay, we keep going down the list here. We have another Dual Fragrance. It is Palazzo Zester 2.0. It's supposed to be a uh, the pineapple version of Creed Events. It's a sweet, kind of fruity fragrance. And it works. Like I said, I got comments with the fragrance at work. The first two times I wore it to work, two different guys said they liked it. They smelled the pineapple. They said it was a fruity type of fragrance. And they like it. And they said they would buy a bottle of it. One of the guys, what other guys said he's on the fence because he saw other fragrances that I have that he likes even more. But hey, this fragrance works. Check it out. It's 50 bucks to do with fragrances. If you can't afford a $400 bottle of Creed Aventus or $300 bottle of Creed Aventus, whatever your price is going for now, definitely check this out. I get about six hours of longevity in my skin. I get about two to three hours of projection, which is pushing really nice. And I got comments with it. So very, very smells just like Creed Aventus to me. Definitely check out Dual Fragrances. Play Zester 2.0. Okay, dual fragrances. We have Scarlet Warrior. This fragrance is right here. It's uh, pretty much going to be the clone of Creed Viking. I like Creed Viking a lot. The bottle presentation is nice. This is very, very similar to that if you can't afford Creed Viking. And my girlfriend likes this one too. The peppermint is really nice. It's just overall real nice fragrance. And I'm very happy she enjoys it. And definitely I will be buying a, a bottle of Creed Adventures down the road. But for now, this is a nice clone. Dual Fragrances, Scarlet Warrior. Okay, we keep going down the list here. We have another fragrance been out for a long time. They have a new one out, Flanker, which I'm going to get to later, but Azara Wanted. The original. This could be your high school scent. Going to the club. Nice, nice fragrance you can wear. This does boost beast mode projection. So maybe one or two sprays, it works. Nice, like the gun revolver, really cool. Haven't used much of it. Like I thought I would go to the club a lot wear it, and I really haven't. I went maybe once or twice, but it does the job if you want to go to the club or be outside doors or just, this fragrance is a nice um, scent for somebody in high school or in college. Really nice fragrance. It's been out for a while, so you can probably get discounted on the websites on like FragranceNet, FragranceX, or MaxRoma.com. Definitely check out Zara Wanted. Keep going down the list here. We have Azora Wanted by Night Auto Perfum. This one here is really nice. I talked about it before. It has that cinnamon in it. It's very nice. This is basically cinnamon. When you spray it, you smell cinnamon, and 
It does go in our comments. It's really nice. People say it's sweet. And I just don't wear enough. I got to start wearing more. I haven't. You know, it's just I have so many fragrances in my collection. I got to really start wearing some of them. You know, so I keep buying new fragrances. But I just feel like I want to try the next new thing. Is it going to be better than what I have in my collection? So this is Zora Wanted by Night. All the Parfum. 2018 release. A lot of fragrance reviewers do like this fragrance, including myself. So definitely get your nose on this. Check this out. They have it at Macy's. Zora Wanted by Night. All the Parfum. Keep going down the list here. We have another. We have a Paco Rabanne. And this is Paco Rabanne Invictus. Regular Invictus. That's it. So definitely check this out. This is another club banger fragrance. You can wear it. It's like high school. It smells like bubble gum on my skin. It's sweet. That's what this fragrance is. If you like sweet fragrances, definitely check this out. You can get this cheap discount if now anywhere. So it's been out for a couple years now. So Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Okay. We have another... Invictus, and this is the 2018 Invictus Aqua 2018 by Paco Rabanne. This one here, I liked the, the bottle and the juice, and when I actually smelled it, I was just, I really like it. It's fresh. Remind me of going to the, to the beach with the sea. You can smell it. The ocean vibe. It's just, I like this one. I'm going to wear this a lot more in 2019, the summertime. Definitely check out Invictus Aqua 2018. I'm not sure if they're going to discontinue this or not. I have no hope they don't. Because they've been discontinuing a bunch of the Victus Aqua fragrances. And I like this one so far. Projection is nice for the first hour, hour and a half. And longevity looking at about a good four to five hours on my skin. I get about five hours in. It's okay. I wish it lasted maybe eight. And I would be actually happy to get through an eight hour day. Going down the beach. Hanging out in the summertime. Enjoying life. So Victus Aqua 2018. You have another Paco Bond fragrance. And I've talked about it on my channel several times. And people are like, a lot of people say, yes, Cotman Factor, it's sweet, it's great. Some people say, no, it doesn't. I don't understand. I don't like it. But it's Paco Rabanne, 1 million lucky. I like this one a lot. I use a lot of juice in it. Gone to me a lot of comments. Distribution is nice. And it works. The vanilla, the plum, the hazelnut. This fragrance works in a gallon's cotton. People will smell the fragrance when you walk by them. It will catch their eyes, open their eyes, and realize this is a, a very... Sexy fragrance, smells sweet. They may not say nothing to you because some people don't want to say nothing to nobody. You know, they're going through a bad day at work, life. But this will, people around you will know you're wearing a fragrance. They will catch whiffs of this fragrance, whether they're in front of you, in back of you, side to side, wherever. They will catch a uh, whiff of this fragrance. This is Paco Rabanne, 1 Million Lucky. Definitely check this fragrance out. Keep going down the list. We have a fragrance that I'm not a big fan of it, but people have... I've talked to Citigate comments with it. They like it. I like the bottle presentation. I have the old one, and this is the new one, 2018. We still the wrong why. 2018 Auto Perform. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm in the process of trying to sell this bottle because I don't really like it. And I could buy another bottle of something else. I got about 70% left in this bottle here, 70 75%. And I'm going to try to sell it just to get rid of it. Um, it's okay fragrance to me. People do like it. I, I, I don't really care for it. That's just my own personal opinion. Some people enjoy it a lot and love it. That's cool. It's just not my cup of tea. Definitely check out Lisa Noir Y. I ought to perform if you haven't checked out Lisa Noir Y EDT. Bottle presentation is nice, but this isn't my... I don't like the fragrance that much to wear it, so... I wear it for test purposes, and it, that's about it. Never got comments with the fragrance. It didn't last on my skin. Lisa Noir Y. Keep going down the list here. We have Lisa Noir Y EDT. This one's another one. It's a freshly clean fragrance. It didn't last on my skin. I like the bottle presentation. The commercial they had were hyping up. I was like, I gotta buy this. It was at Sephora. And it wasn't worth it. So but if you want to try this fragrance, I'll definitely check this fragrance out here. Lisa Noir Y EDT. If you haven't tried the EDP. Okay, another one on the list of fragrance I got for free at a Max Room event. My girlfriend won her name in her drawing, but she didn't really see nothing. She liked it on the list for females. They had like the, you could win a free gift set, and she didn't see anything she liked that caught her eye. So okay, she's like, do you want something? Because we have to pick out something for free. I said, cool. So I got Lisa Laurent, Land We Alone. This is a fragrance that every YouTuber talked about that they love, Jeremy Fragrance. Made this fragrance what it is, a masterpiece. It's a sex, sex fragrance. It's just it's beautiful. Girls do like this. A great first date fragrance. 
and you'll be safe with it. Only problem is they reformulate it. So it's pretty much, people do say it just doesn't last on their skin. Me, I get about a good four to five hours on my skin. I get two hours of projection, which is really nice. After the five hour mark, I really don't smell it anymore. It's kind of like dissolved, it's all gone. But it is a nice chick magnet, girls love it. And I highly suggest if you don't have this fragrance reflection, pick it up or try to get a sample online and go on a date with a girl or a significant other and see if this fragrance, if they like it. I really believe they'll like it. And I really don't see no, I can't see nobody giving you a bad comment with this fragrance here. And this is Lisa Leron, Land Weed Alone. Okay. Another fragrance on the list here, we have a Chanel fragrance. And I bought this overseas. Um, when I was with my girlfriend, we were in Rome, and they had a Chanel boutique inside of the airline, and they didn't have a bottle to test out, so this is another blind buy fragrance. I enjoyed it. I got compliments with it when I came back when I was sick from vacation. I went and got some pizza at Little Caesars and some breadsticks, you know, I figured I'd get something to eat. Took a shower, drove to the closest pizzeria place, and I wore this fragrance, and the lady behind me was telling, asked me what I was wearing. I told her what it was, and it is no other than Chanel Laurent. De Chion Blanche. This fragrance is magic. People do say it has that lemon vibe, like um, you know, you're cleaning your bathroom, or you clean, or you know, like you, you know, just cleaning your sink, like a cleaning vibe. It, to me, it gets a little bit of that, but makes it with me, it's basically like a lemon meringue pie. It's very nice. I enjoy it a lot, and I'm very happy I caught this the first time I wore it. So that means you already know that this will be a fragrance that. If I make a Hall of Fame video comments, this would be in the list because it worked the first time I wore it, the first time I went out in public from going overseas to back in the United States. So definitely check out a Laura Homme de Chion Blanche. It's very hard to get over here in the United States. You pretty much got to order on the Chanel website or discounted websites, or you have to go overseas to buy it. So, you know, if you like lemon meringue pie, lemon type of fragrances, definitely check out Chanel Laura Homme de Chion Blanche. Okay, we keep going down the list here. Fragrance I bought at Banana Republic. I'm always starting to get into oud fragrances a lot. I really do like oud fragrances. I feel like I'm gonna have to buy some more oud fragrances. I feel like it's a, just a fragrance that I like. A lot of people say it has the barnyard smell, kind of stank. I just, I really like it. I think I'm gonna start getting oud fragrances a lot more. And this is Oud Mosaic 17, Banana Republic. I like it a lot. I enjoy it and Definitely check this out. If you want to get new fragrances, you're not sure if you want to spend a lot of money. This is really cheap. You're looking at maybe under 40 bucks. Check it out at Banana Republic. Some of the day run deals where you get 25% off. So you might pay like 25, 30 bucks for a bottle like this. Definitely check this out. Banana Republic 17 Oud Mosaic. Okay. I'll keep going. It's another fragrance. a fresh and clean fragrance. I wish I bought a bigger bottle at um, Nordstrom, but I didn't. Um, now looking back, I wish I did because I wear it a lot more and I appreciate it a lot and it garners me compliments and it is Prada alone. This is a fragrance that, a fresh and clean fragrance, suit and tie, wear it whenever. Girls do like it. It has a fresh, clean vibe, has the iris note in it. I enjoy this one a lot. The bottle presentation is very beautiful. Look, I'm almost, the bottle's almost empty. That's how much I use of it. And I don't have many bottles that are empty in my collection. So it shows you this is really nice fragrance, a fresh and clean fragrance. If you want to be fresh and clean, you can wear this all year round. Wear it to work. It's a great office scent. Great office scent. And the price isn't that bad. Definitely check out Prada Lone. Okay. Another Prada fragrance. This is one my girlfriend got me about a year ago. It's a, a soapy type of scent, just like Prada Lone, but this one's a little bit more cheaper. And it has a cool bottle presentation and it has a little purple juice. This is Prada and Perone. This one is great. I enjoy it. I'm very happy she got this for me because she asked me what fragrance I want. So I got this in my collection. I must try to wear it some more. I use some of the juice in the back. Not a lot, but I do enjoy this one. So basically, it's a fresh and clean, soapy fragrance. Very soapy, where you can apply this and you're going to smell like soap all day. And I enjoy it. And people around me enjoy it. I've got two comments wearing this fragrance. So I'm very happy with it. Even though it's a soap fragrance, you know, you would think nobody's going to give you comments on soap. But it does work. I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy my girlfriend got it for me. This is Prada Amber Pearl. Next on the list here, a fragrance that um, my girlfriend's family gave me a gift card to Macy's about a year ago for Christmas, and I picked up Coach for Men. 
If you have Dior Sauvage, you don't need this. If you can't afford Dior Sauvage, definitely check this out. You can get it for about 40 something bucks online, maybe 40 to 50 bucks. It almost does the same thing, it has the Bergamot, Broxen, it just, it works. And this doesn't perform beast mode like Dior Sauvage, but it does work. You know, I get about a good four to five hours on my skin. I get about a good hour and a half, two hours of projection. So this is Coach for men. Distribution is okay, it's not the best. Definitely check out Coach for Men. Now I have the new Coach for Men, is Coach for Men Platinum. This one here has your pineapple, has your leather, has your pepper. I don't get the pineapple note in here. It says it's in there. I get the leather and I get the spicy pepper mint. I mean the pepper, and that's pretty much it. And I'm just gonna go right there. The bottle presentation is nice. You can see the juice through the light, pretty nice. And I enjoy this fragrance. If you already have Coach, you might not want to get this. I feel like it's redundant. But if you don't have original Coach, definitely check this out. You might have the pineapple note when you spray it on your skin. It might smell like pineapple. To me, I only get the pepper, and I get the leather, and I get the vanilla. So definitely check this out, Coach Platinum. Now we have on the list here, we have Salvatore Ferragamo, F Black. This fragrance here, for a 20 something dollar fragrance to get a compliment the first time wearing this to pick up pizza, I enjoy it. I feel like you can wear this to the office, you can wear it dressed up, dressed down. It just, I got compliments with it. Some people say they don't like it, some people say they don't get compliments with it. It's a $20, $25, under $25 fragrance. It works, I'm very happy to have it in my collection. And it's a cheapy book goodie and it gets compliments. So check out Saratory Ferragamo F Black. Okay, we have here another cheapy. And this one gets me compliments. Raspberry, fresh, clean, linen type vibe. Mont Blanc Individual. $20 fragrance, maybe $20, $22 with tax. This fragrance is really nice. I, I got compliments wearing this fragrance. Same day I wore Saratory Ferragamo F Black. I enjoy it. I'm very happy I got this in my collection, and I would definitely wear this a lot more. I could wear this as a signature shed if I wanted to all year round. It works. I'm very happy with it. Um, Distribution is okay. It doesn't shoot out a lot. It shoots a little. You got to shoot a couple of times, but definitely check this out. It's a $20 fragrance. If you're not big on fragrances and you want to just try something, this is a nice, safe fragrance. Pick it up, 20 bucks, and try it out and see if it works. I get about six hours of longevity on my skin, and it pushes for about a good two hours of projection where I can smell it off me. So... I enjoy it. It's $20, $20 fragrance. Who, who, who can be mad about $20 fragrance? Please let me know. Mont Blanc Individual. Okay. Next on the list of fragrance I got from one of the subscribers on my channel. She's an awesome girl. I, I've talked to her a few times. I haven't talked in a while because she's been working and stuff. And this is Pure Tonka. Terry Mooger Pure Tonka. If you like Tonka fragrances, definitely pick this one up. I'm gonna start wearing this a lot more and see if I get comments with it, but I've never got comments with this fragrance, so pure tonka. Next on the list we have here is another tonka fragrance. It is a CK One Shock for him. This one's really nice. Shoots out a lot. There's another $20 fragrance. Only thing with this is projection. You get about a good hour or so. It's really nice. I can smell it. After that, it's very, 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 very close to the skin. And I get about four to five hours on my skin. Another person on my channel, subscriber, bought it and said he didn't get that much projection or longevity. So I'm sorry about that. I think they might have reformulated this. I got to find out. People have said that it has been reformulated because the other batch used to work way better on the skin, like eight to ten hours. But like I said, I get about five and that's pushing it. So check out CK One Shock for 20 bucks and see if you like it. Next on the list is a fragrance that I got this year, 2018. And it got me two compliments behind my back when I heard the ladies talk about it. And it is Boss, Hugo Boss, Private Scent Accord. It's a chocolate-based fragrance. That's it. I'm not going to get on the notes because some people don't care about notes. It smells like chocolate. Very nice, sweet, sexy chocolate. My girlfriend likes it. I'm very happy with it. When I do wear it, it got me compliments. And definitely keep this in my collection. I don't have any Boss fragrances. So to me, to buy a Boss fragrance is very cool and the bottle presentation is nice and it works and it smells really nice definitely if you like chocolate sweet fragrances um definitely check this out at macy's hugo boss private accord scent next on the list we have carolina herrera 212 vip party fever i got this overseas 
And I like the bottle presentation, really nice. Never got comments wearing this fragrance. I get about a good five, maybe five, six hours on my skin. I feel like you wear this to the club, it's really nice. It's citrus, apple, sweet fragrance. Definitely check it out if you want something like this. It has no cannabis. I don't smell it in it. People say they, that people that have reviewed it said, some of them say they get the cannabis, some say they don't at all. I guess it depends on your skin chemistry, but I don't get to know. I think it's just more of a, a sales pitch to go, have you go out and buy this fragrance because of the bottle and it has cannabis in it. I don't smell it at all in the fragrance. And I've asked my girlfriend and she doesn't smell it. But definitely check this fragrance out if you're a young person, you wanna wear something cool to the club, maybe school, whatever, you're in high school or you're in college. 212 VIP, Party Fever by Kylina Herrera. Okay, next fragrance on the list we have here is called Big Sky. And I got this in a, a video I sponsored a couple months ago for Abbott New York. It's really nice. Like I said, it has notes right here. It has spicy mandarin, cypress, and vetiver. Really nice. It's really great. I wish it lasts longer. I get about a good five to six hours on my skin. If it checks for the first one to two hours, really nice scent. You know, and you paid about 60 something bucks for it. Definitely check out Abbott, New York City. I'll leave the website down below if you want to pick this up. They have samples so you can buy a sample online. Okay, we have here. Oldie but goodie fragrance here, and it is Fierce by Abercrombie and French. And this fragrance has been talked about on Real Josh TV. Shout out to Josh, Real TV, great fragrance reviewer. He knows all about this stuff, man. If you want to know anything about Abercrombie and French, check out his channel. Leave his link down below. Real Josh, Real TV. Hey, Josh, definitely, man. This fragrance is really good. Abercrombie and French, check it out. I've worn it forever. I mean, when it first came out, I was wearing it, and I just, I just stopped wearing it. I don't know why. I just stopped wearing it. So. Abercrombie and French, fierce. Okay, another fragrance I got on the list that I really enjoy. I don't have the old ones. This is just a new one I have here, and it is John Paul Gaultier, The Mall in the Navy, 2018 release. I like this one with the peppermint, the vanilla, the C notes. I like this one. I enjoyed the bottle. pre taste is pretty weird, but I like to keep this in my collection. I know somebody was trying to ask me that I want to sell it. I really enjoy it. I don't think I want to sell it. If I do, I'll let people know, but I really enjoy this one. And I got a compliment on it a week ago when I went to work with a new worker, guy I work with was a temp. He said, hey, man, I never smelled that fragrance before. I really like it. Can you please tell me what that is? Because I would like to buy a bottle of that. So I told him about it. You can pick it up at Macy's. And he said, okay, cool. I'm going to see if I can find a Macy's in where I live at and buy it because I really do. I never smelled anything like this before. So, Jean Paul Gaultier, Lamar 2018 in the Navy. Definitely check this out. If you already have other Lamar fragrances, they're going to last better. This projects on here for about a good hour, hour and a half. And in projection for an hour, hour and a half. And in longevity, looking at about four to five hours. So it's not the best. Get you about a good five hours. You might have to reapply it. It's very expensive, looking at about $92, so just keep that in mind if you want to buy this fragrance. If you have the old versions, Lamar, just keep those. This isn't going to help you out. Unless you want to keep it as a collector, definitely pick it up. Okay. We have here Remarkable People. e Retail Orange. This one's great. Bradley talked about it on the channel, Triple Inc. Shout out to Bradley. Great YouTuber, man. I know you're in college. I hope school's going well, man. Hope you have a nice holiday, too. Shout out to Bradley. Um, he got me on this fragrance here. I tried it out and I enjoy it. It's a champagne fragrance. If you like the smell of champagne, this is what this fragrance is. Definitely enjoy it. Only thing with this fragrance I have to con is I get about two to three hours of longevity. I get about an hour of projection. After that, it's like very skin scent, which I wish it lasted six or seven hours. This would be a really great fragrance to tell people to go out and buy, but it's very hard because you only get about a good two to three hours of longevity and one good hour of projection. So. Remarkable people, I'll tell a little orange. Definitely check this out. Okay. We have here a fragrance that I told my brother Matthew about it and my friend Courtney. Shout out to Courtney. Hope you're doing good, man. I know you were in the hospital. You just got out. He got caught me the first time he wore it, going, going to the club. And a girlfriend, this girl asked, like, hey, can I get your number? And he had a girlfriend, and he was like, I can't get a number because I have a picture of me and my girlfriend in my phone. So he's going to pull his phone and he's like, oh, I, I can't. So he's just like, oh, I, you know, I have a girlfriend or whatever. But she's like, I will enjoy the fragrance that you're wearing. And this is the Hidden Gem, Stronger With You by Perry Omar. It's a great hidden gem for fifty under 50 bucks. 
I smelled it and I got comments wearing it and I bought it for him as a Christmas gift about a year or so ago. I bought one for my brother Matthew and they both get comments with this fragrance. It's basically a hidden gem fragrance. Great winter time, great fragrance for the fall. Definitely check out Stronger With You. Keep going. We have Mugger Clone. The fresh and clean fragrance, that's it. There's nothing more to go about. It's fresh and clean. I enjoy it a lot. People need to definitely pick this up if you just want a fresh, soapy scent. You can pick it up for about 40 something bucks online at fragrancenet.com or you can pick it up at maxroma.com. They all have it. So you're looking at between um, 40 something bucks to 80 bucks. They have a bigger, I think it's a nine ounce bottle, big one to splash. I think it's like about 80 to 90 bucks. If you just want to smell fresh and clean, that's it. You don't want like the bergamot and all the other uh, oud type of fragrances. If you just want just a soapy fragrance to wear and you don't want to offend anybody, Mugger Cologne, definitely check this fragrance out. Okay. We have here Club Banger Fragrance, been talked about for years. They have a new version, which I got to try out, called Versace Flames, and this is Versace Arrows. What can I not say about this? My brother wore it on his wedding day. His wife liked the smell of it. And um, my brother's wife's uh, father, he had sprayed, I let him spray this on too, and he enjoyed it. His wife enjoyed it. So they both got compliments all night with Versace Arrows. And I know this is a club fragrance. This is a teenage fragrance. My brother's older than I am. He enjoys the fragrance. He don't even like cologne. For him to wear this to smell good and his wife like it, that's saying something about a fragrance. And her father had liked the fragrance too, and he's way older. So check out Versace Arrows. If you already tried out, you already know about this fragrance. If you're younger or you're an older guy in the fragrance game, you know about Versace Arrows. Definitely check it out. Okay, we have here a fragrance that I do enjoy a lot. I wish it lasts longer on my skin. This is my first John Varbato fragrance. I hope down the road I can buy some more if they perform better. And it's no other than John Varbato's Artisan Pure. This is great for the summertime. It's great. I enjoy it a lot and I enjoy wearing it. I'm going to try to wear it more in 2019. Definitely check this out. John Varbato's Artisan Pure. Only thing sad about this is that the projection wise, I get about two hours. In longevity, I get about a good four to five. By the five hour mark, I don't smell it anymore. It's like dead. I don't smell it anymore. I think it's another con why people don't like John Robedo fragrances. Or they, or they, they love them, but they upset that they don't last more than eight hours. If they last more than eight hours, literally everybody will buy John Robedo fragrances. They're really nice. The price point is about $69 for a bottle. That's cheap. Not that bad. You figure you pay $89 for $80 to $90, $100 for fragrances. It's 69 bucks. You might get it cheaper on discounter side. Definitely check out John Varbato's Artisan Pure. Okay, we have a fragrance that I got, you know, comments on when I wore the pizza place. The guy liked the fragrance off of me. I have a video down below. Check it out. This fragrance is Salvatore Ferragamo Umo. Your tum your tiramisu fragrance. It's sweet chocolate. It's just amazing, and if you like, if you're a sweet tube type person for chocolate, definitely check this fragrance out. It's been out for a while. I know they have a new signature scent one. I haven't tried it yet. I gotta get my nose on it. It's hard to find. I haven't found it yet at Nordstrom. Check this out, Salvatore Ferragamo Umo. Very great tiramisu. It's a sweet fragrance, sweet chocolate fragrance. You will enjoy this fragrance. Definitely check this out. And the last one on the list, ladies and gentlemen, is a fragrance that everybody knows about the community. Been out for years. Um, I wish it would last longer. They have a new version out now, and that's Dolce & Gabbana, the one gray. And this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. This is a great tobacco fragrance. I enjoy this one a lot. It's great for the winter time. I use a lot of juice in this fragrance. A lot of YouTubers like this fragrance. It's very great for the fall and winter time. You can get a big, big bottle, really cheap online. It's been out forever. The new one I had recently, I'm going to be picking up for my brother probably for Christmas. I think you see one of the fresh fragrance. The new one's really nice too. It performs the same as this one does. If you want more of a fresher fragrance, that would be the one fresher. This is more of your winter one, but the the one gray is more you can wear all year round. This one here is more of your fall and winter fragrance. Definitely check this one out. Projection, you're going to get about an hour and a half. And longevity, I got about a good five maybe five five and a half six hours not the best i wish i got seven eight if i got eight hours it'd be great fragrance to wear all fall but i it, it won't last on my skin it doesn't so definitely check out those you can buy the one edp okay that's my fragrance list there ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me your fragrance list you guys have your collection um, i'd like to thank everybody for watching this video if you're new to my channel please consider hitting the subscribe button to show your support 
I'm going to try to pick up new fragrances in 2019 and do some more reviews. All these fragrances I have here, I do reviews on the bottom. You can check down below. Um, I put out as much as I can because I enjoy doing this. Um, I have a real job. I hope you guys understand that. Um, but I do enjoy this, doing these videos for you guys. I enjoy making videos and I'm very happy with the people in the fragrance community and they welcome me and I like to thank all the fragrance reviewers out there. You guys are awesome, guys and women. Um, I hope everybody has a nice and safe holiday season and New Year's uh, and I hope you guys have a great 2019 coming up really soon. Until my next fragrance video, ladies and gentlemen, bye.